found me a new girl. I kind of one day. We'd only been together just a few, few days, and she had this little Scottish Terrier dog. It's about 12 years old. You know, dog years, what, that was 84, 84 years old. Anyway, it's pretty sick. And I didn't know if I wanted to get involved with a girl like that. that she was so emotional. Lay on the bed crying, and all that, because her dog had passed away. And I said, honey, it's going to be okay. I said, I'll get you another dog. I don't want the dog. I don't want my dog. No. And I said, it's going to be okay, baby. You know? Huh? So anyway, I stuck her out in the car one time. We went for a ride, we went by the animal shelter. She said, I don't want another dog, I don't want my dog. I said, just hang on, baby. We walked in, all them little dogs is jumping around in there and all that. And I'm like, pick me, pick me, pick me. She looked down, she found one she loved. She took it home and her attitude changed tremendously. That was around Thanksgiving. Everything's going good. And then come close to Christmas time, she lost her father. I'm going through the same, same thing. I, thought, I think I got this system figured out. I said, honey, I'm gonna get you another daddy. I want another daddy, I want my daddy. It'll be okay, honey. So I slipped her into the car. I took her down to the nursing home. I seen all them fellas in the window there going, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. So. Anyways, she got her new daddy. All right, y'all heard Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire? Okay, I think it was last year. It might have been a year before. You can only sing this during Christmas time. Okay? And I hope, and I hope somebody's house hadn't burnt down because last time I sung this, it already happened. My pick. Y'all hear me better with a pick? Love is a Christmas tree, but don't pick any old tree. Some have a long spire, turns your house into a ball of fire. I watered that tree till the branches rose up higher. It drank, drank, and drank, but it kept on getting drier. And it burns, burns, burns. This tree's on fire. This tree's on fire. <laughs> the heat from the smoke and pine melted my copy as I walked the line. I tried to save a boy named Sue, but dang, it took him too. The cat walked in, set by Christmas tree on fire. He climbed and climbed and climbed, hit some bulbs and ripped the wire. That's when I learned to burn, burn. This tree's on fire, this tree's on fire. I drove into that Christmas tree of fire. I huffed, huffed and spit, but the flames kept getting higher. And it burned, burned, burned. This tree's on fire. This tree's on fire. This tree's on fire. This tree's on fire. All right. I think uh, it might have been three years ago that I sang that at the Methodist Church in Winsboro. We got about the same reaction except one couple. They come up to me and said, Doc, that song was not a bit funny. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they was pulling my legs. I know I can't sing real well. But they lost their house to electrical fire and all that. So I, I apologize, but what's the odds of that happening? 
Okay, now let's get serious. Alright, Eddie Arnold wrote one. for actually second. Called Christmas Can't Be That Far Away. A neighbor tipped his hat to me this morning. The landlord even smiled and said good day. And I want you to know a stranger said hello. Christmas can't be that far away. I'd walk down the street buying candy to pass out to the neighbor kids at play. The town is on the go, the weather man said snow. Christmas can't be that far away. The small fry on the block been all saved And now they're hiding things and looking sly Mom will get that to that stupid craving And Dad will get his usual Christmas pie Both young and old are plenty sweet surprises They'll soon be tied with ribbons dried and gay. Goodwill is in the air. You feel it everywhere. Christmas can't be that far away. The small pie on the block have all been saving. And now they're hiding in things and looking at slack. Mom will get that to dad, she been craving. And dad will get his usual Christmas time. Both the young and the old are plenty sweet surprises. They'll soon be tied with ribbons, right and gay. Goodwill is in the air, you'll feel it everywhere. Christmas can't be that far away. Paper. Roy Orbison, I think, uh, sang it back in the 50s, 60s. Uh, Willie Nelson, I come across him, he sang it. On the Sun, this other night. So, this will be the second time in public, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you like it, throw money on the stage. <laughs> Pretty paper, dirty ribbons of blue. Wrap your presents to your darling from you. Pretty pencil to write, I love you. Pretty paper, dirty ribbon, the blue. Crowded street, busy feet, hustle by him. Downtown shopper. Christmas is nine. There he sits all alone on the sidewalk, hoping that you won't pass him by. Should you stop, better not to be. You're in a hurry, my how time to fly. In the distance is a ringing of laughter, and in the midst of the laughter he cries, Dirty 
pretty paper, pretty ribbons of blue. Wrap your presents to your darling from you. Pretty pencils to write, I love you. Pretty paper, pretty ribbons. Thank you, Doc Davis. Those of you who aren't aware of it, uh, we have cameras here, and what we do is we film each one of these events. We put them on YouTube so that anyone can relive them at any time. You just go to YouTube and uh, search for the Jodan Boyd channel, and um, you'll find. And if you want to search for the Tenney Chapel Music Night, search that too. But anyway, it's easy to find it, and you can browse around and, and relive some. We, this is our fourth year of doing this event, so there's a lot of it on the, on the tube. Um, and when I have the uh, camera up here with me, it means that all of the audience is getting filmed to be in the next one. Um, <clears throat> our next performer is Gary McMullen, whose father was Dalton McMullen, a hero of mine when I was a boy. He was one of the Cater boys, uh, Dalton was. Also, so is Gary. He's just a generation different. Um, Dalton used to pick and sing and uh, almost ran away with a band, I think. Uh, he used to talk about how his life might have been different if he had gone uh, out on the road with this band that he'd been playing with. He played Ernest Tubb songs and uh, things, songs like he had the voice, a deep voice like Ernest Tubb, and he played a lot of those kind of songs. And uh, <clears throat> I understand from Gary that Dalton actually only played about five years whereas Gary has been playing close to 50 years. And, uh, and I always compare them, you know, and it's, it's almost no comparison in terms of the number of years that they've been doing it. Uh, <clears throat> Gary McMullen lives over in the Greenville area, and he brought uh, a guest singer with him today, Dean Harrison, who will be coming up later. Uh, they're going to do their, their set now. Gary McMullen, from the, one of the Cater Hill musicians, and uh, at some point later, uh, his, his friend and uh, partner, Dean Harrison, who I learned in visiting with him, had a long career in agriculture with the soil conservation, and, and the, uh, he, he was an ASC office manager, I think, things like that. Grew up in Fairfield, wound up in this part of the country, uh, and likes it a lot. So we'll be hearing for two, from two people tonight during this set, Gary and Dean. Gary McMullen. Well, I got a big, big crowd to follow tonight. How am I going to follow Doc? <laughs> you trained me, brother. <laughs> Do a song for you by a man by the name of Jess Winchester. It's a little bit different. It's uh, not really country, it's not pop, but it's a good song. And what made me think of this was this afternoon it's 70 degrees. Tonight it's 30. January is coming. A little bit of all of that in this song, so listen as I sing this play. Well, it was spring. Just play together in one and 
time. We must do this again sometime. I can't tell you when, but what the joy is all Just as real as Jesus Christ. 
Sabine River Valley Bottom Boys. I, I got to get some of those. I want to get some of those records <laughs> from the olden days. Um, wonderful. Thank you, Dean. Uh, Dean, uh, I learned in chatting with him a while ago, is a graduate of Sam Houston State University, where he got his agricultural degree. And uh, <clears throat> he was an FFA boy, like I was. We had we talked a lot about the old days. And uh, Gary McMullen, of course, uh, uh, one of the great Cater Hill musicians. Now, the next person listed on your calendar, on your bulletin, is another Cater Hill musician, Roger Berry, who called in sick. And um, he's not here tonight, so uh, we'll remember him in the spirit. We'll pray for his recovery. He is not doing well, not feeling well at all. However... Uh, Mike Dodgen, who is the wizard of the D28 strings, uh, Lindale, he, he, he went to high school here, probably was in about the, roughly the same class as Gary McMullen. I, I don't think they would have been too far apart. Um, <clears throat> okay, maybe the age difference is... It. You know, when you get to be my age, though, uh, ten, ten years is not very much different. <clears throat> but um, one thing about Mike Dodgen is we know that when he comes up here, we're going to hear some wonderful music. That guitar is going to sing. Of course, Mike is a singer-songwriter, and he's written some wonderful songs. I've, I've Just to my regret, I learned that he did not bring the words to the song that our pastor and I favor is probably his best work. It's a song called The Large Print Edition of the Heavenly Highway Hymns. And, <laughs> and it's just right for people whose eyesight has begun to change and all that. But he didn't bring the words to it this time. Unless he thinks he can remember the words to it. He's probably not going to do that for us tonight. But the pastor has already invited him to come up sometime and do that song sometime during a worship service. Uh, and we're going to hold, uh, and he's accepted, and we're going to hold him to that. One of, the, one of these days, he'll be up here to do that. Amen. Right now, we're in for a great treat. Mike Dodgen, the, the Lindale guitar wizard. 